My man Zar make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? So, as I sit here and watched Game 2 of the 2017 World Series and watched my Astros take Game 2 with their come-from-behind victory, I started to think of a, a baseball analogy that I came up with for learning compression. So I'm going to share that with you today. This analogy I used in my course, Basics of Compression, I'm going to leave a link to the course in the description. But the analogy is called the batter at the plate analogy. And this analogy helps you understand compression with the four controls of compression as it relates to a batter at the plate. That's threshold, attack, release, and ratio. So the first thing about this analogy is gonna be not to send your batter to the plate without a plan. This analogy coming to audio and compression, you don't want to slap a compressor on something before you even understand and have a goal of how do you want it to sound with the compressor. Even backing up a little bit before just slapping a compressor on, you want to decide what type of compression needs to be used uh, for this job. Should it be an opto, a VCA, FET? You know, you want to have a plan before you decide to use a compressor. Uh, always teach to have a vision in your mind of what you want the compressed sound to sound like before you grab a compressor and start turning knobs. That way you're not just blindly turning knobs and that way you don't have your batter at the plate just blindly swinging without a plan in place. So back to the analogy, the batter at the plate. So let's say the batter in this analogy will be the compressor the pitcher throwing the ball, uh, the ball would be the audio signal coming at the compressor. So we're going to start with the threshold. So as the ball approaches the plate, there's a certain point where the batter is going to decide to swing. That's going to be your threshold. The threshold determines when the compressor starts to kick in. Just like as the ball gets closer to the plate, there's a point where the batter says it's close enough now, I'm going to swing at this pitch. That's going to represent your threshold. Attack is how fast the compressor reacts after the threshold has been met. This is going to be represented by how fast you swing. So how fast you swing at the pitch is going to be your attack. Do you want to swing fast? Do you want to swing slow? That's going to represent your attack. Once you hit the ball, your follow through swing, that's going to be your release. So once compression happens and your release is going to be how quickly the compressor goes back to zero or how quickly the compression stops. That's going to be your release. That's going to be, in this analogy, that's going to be your follow through. Do you want to follow through fast after you hit the ball? Do you want to follow through slow? That's going to represent your release. And lastly, your ratio, that is going to represent how hard you hit the ball. A low ratio would be some gentle compression. As you step up in the ratio, you're going to get a more aggressive knee and compression, and that would result in how hard you would hit the ball. So again, that's my batter at the plate analogy. I hope that helps some people understand compression. I know that it helped a lot of people in the course uh, that I've put this in understand compression. Uh, and again, I'll have the link to the course. Uh, I have it on Udemy right now. It's also on ADSR if you're subscribed to that. Uh, let me know what you think. If this helps you, you know, let me know. I'd like to hear. And uh, go Astros. I'll catch y'all next time.